Howdy y'all, oh wait, British voice, uh hello ladies and gents, I know I usually upload every week, but things are different. For some reason, my professors decided that having a midterm every day this week and two on Thursday would be cool. Also, I wanted to do a follow up Gundland set, but I'm not master rank 100 so no tempered raging, yet so I can not fully upgrade the Gundlands quite yet. So I actually decided to make a multi set video. The focus is around latent power secret with another set bonus, to really maximize the set. So because of this, we will probably skip the showcase this time around. Anyway, let's get started. The first set, uses latent power secret and super recovery making it a strong set and this set doubles as a vile hazard killer. For the weapon, I'm using the death edge vault demius, but any long sword, hammer, dual blades, charge blade, insect glaive, or switch axe with two slots will work. If you have to level 1 slots, you would put to vitality jewels, and replace the vitality slash footing jewels with critical boost jewels. Level 2 or higher slots will use critical boost jewels, as seen here. Next we have a Zinaga helm beater slotted with a vital slash footing jewel then the Zinaga metal beater with a vital slash footing jewel. For the arms, we are using the fell shroud braces beater with a Miamza jewel, an expert jewel plus 4 jewel, and a vitality jewel. Next we are using the Zinaga Coil Beater with two Throttle Jewels. For the feet, we are using the Fell Shroud Greaves Beater with a Throttle Jewel and an Enhancer Jewel. And we have a Maximum Doubt Master's Charm 4. This gives us level 6 Critical Eye, level 6 Latent Power, level 3 Health Boost, level 3 Critical Boost, level 3 Power Prolonger, level 3 Effluvia Resistance, level 2 Tremor Resistance and level 2 Recovery Up. This set is good against any monster, but destroyers Valhazak. You more or less play however you would play the weapon. I don't know what else to tell you. Hit the monster until it dies. There you go. Now, I also have a set for latent power secret with divine blessing secret. That is a lie. I have two. For the weapon for all of them, any weapon works, as long as it has two jewel slots. If you see high power prolonger, certain weapons work better than others as mentioned above. Also I highly recommend health augments for all of these sets. I just forgot to mention that earlier. Anyway for the first set, is the more offensive of the two latent power slash divine blessing builds. For armor we are rocking the Zinaga helm beta with a brace slash protection jewel. Zinaga Metal Beta with a Recover plus 4 Jewel, Zinaga Braces Beta with a Throttle slash Medicine Jewel and a Tenderizer Jewel, Golden Loon Coil Beta with a Protection Jewel and a Medicine Jewel and finally, the Golden Loon Greaves Beta with an Expert Jewel plus 4. To top it off, we have a Master's Charm 4. This all gives us level 6 Critical Eye, level 6 Latent Power, Divine Blessing level 5, Recovery Speed level 3, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Recovery Up level 2, Power Prolonger level 1, and Flinch Free level 1. Unlike most of my sets on the channel, this does not have any health boost, the reason for this is Divine Blessing level 5. This guy did a video on how it works, so I will put a card for it, so you see how it works. I added complementary skills to help healing, since you should be taking a total of 30% less damage overall. I also have the standard meter DPS stats for obvious reasons. For the final set of the video, we have any weapon with 2 slots, which we will fill with 2 protection jewels. If you have a level 4 slot available, you can put a destroyer slash protection jewel to maximum out part breaker as well. For armor we have the golden loon helm beater with a destroyer slash protection jewel and a protection jewel, zinaga mail beater with a destroyer slash medicine jewel, zinaga braces beater with a throttle medicine jewel and a tenderizer jewel, zinaga coil beater with a vitality jewel, which can be replaced with a level 4 jewel, that includes vitality I just do not have one that fits the build, and throttle jewel, and finally for the legs, we have the golden loon greaves beater slotted with an expert jewel 4. 
Of course we have the master's charm 4. That gives us latent power level 7, critical eye level 6, divine blessing level 4, health boost level 3, weakness exploit level 3, recovery up level 2, part breaker level 2, recovery speed level 1 and power prolonger level 1. This is closer to a tank build than the other two, and you have more freedom in weapons. It'll let the rest of the hunt play out. Overall, this is my biggest video yet, as far as work goes, I would highly appreciate a like, and subscribe for more non-meter builds. I'm unsure of what I'm going to do next. Since I will have ruin energy soon, I have plenty of options. Either way, I hope you enjoyed, I will see you next time. Over here. Not that. Are you serious? I just decided. Are you already still there? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. But, uh, mm, mm, uh, now that it was like completely quiet, so, uh, I don't know. I'm curious. Oh, no, it's muted. No, yeah, it's fine. I just. It's, it's weird to uh, you know, be in a party all by yourself. And I've done that before. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'm just like AFK. People leave. Oh, yeah, then you're talking to no one. And it's really weird. I just talk to myself all the time, so... Oh, we're gonna go with that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not judging. I talk to myself. I mean, I talk to my own wiener. But... That's it. You talk to what? To your wiener? Yeah. To encourage the fucker. What kind of people? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You just want to be loved and touched. You step down a little bit. I'm sure you could do that. You're not believing hard enough. Oh,
Hold on. Before you do that. Don't, don't fall over there. Do like that. Twelve minutes. 